Please don't spit the hook. That's a dang good fish. <laughs> I've been needing this, y'all. That is a good trout. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Captain Collier here. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Brandon. I fish here along the Alabama Gulf Coast as well as run a few charters. And today, as you can see, we're not on the boat, walking through the mud right now, walking along this little bank. I'm gonna do some wade fishing this afternoon. I've got maybe an hour and a half of fishing daylight. And uh, I actually came here yesterday. I was flounder fishing, had very little success, caught one flounder. But as I was walking back to the car, started noticing some of these trout slicks pop up. I don't know if y'all can see that one right there. There's also a few out here in front of me. Started throwing the slick lure, this lure right here, and started getting on some trout action. Unfortunately, I ran out of daylight, and uh, I really wanted to throw top water and did not bring my top water bag. So, came prepared today. We're back out here at the same spot, and we've got top waters, we've got the slick lure. I do believe the fish are still here. We're gonna get set up, hopefully get tied on some fish. If y'all enjoy this video, or if you learned something, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If you're new to the channel, enjoy saltwater fishing. Let's get to it. So before we get started this afternoon, I am gonna go ahead and roll that clip right now from yesterday evening. I did manage to get on two very nice trout as soon as it hit the water. This has gotta be a red fish. I was following these slicks up this bank here just finally got up current where all this mullet is just swirling around. First cast into it. It's either a big trout or red. And it was instant. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? I can't really tell. The sun's in my eyes. Redfish. No, no, trout. Good trout. Heck yes. I needed this, y'all. I needed this. Please stay on. Don't you do it. Stay on. Oh, that's a good trout. <laughs> yeah. Heck yes. Y'all, I was not thinking it was going to be a good evening. But y'all check out that girl right there beautiful trout on the og slick there Whew, she's fat too we're gonna hurry up get a good release on this fish i'm not gonna be keeping any trout this afternoon but what a trout right there let's get her back in the water she is thick thank you right here in front of me yes oh oh he just pulled it golly y'all that was another good fish mm, there he is <laughs> right when you least expect it yep Another good trout. We are running out of daylight, folks. They are fat. Probably fixing to shake it off. There we go. Y'all, look how fat that girl is right there. Full, probably a mullet or pogies. Absolutely slam that slick. Golly, I can't get over how fat these fish are. Probably about 17 inches. Get another good release on her. Wasn't really planning on catching trout this evening. As y'all know, I was coming out to target flounder, but they wasn't really working out too good for us. I do believe we're gonna resume tomorrow evening. So yeah, as y'all seen, two quality trout last 20 minutes of the evening. 
missed a ton of fish as well so that definitely influenced me to come back to the same spot and get on some fish so swapping it up this is the uh, pearl white slick i do believe i was throwing the bobcat yesterday which had a chartreuse tail all right y'all we're gonna start right here where i ended off yesterday oh well, that's good to see still got bait here in the area but i was in this general area right here this is where all those trout slicks were popping up yesterday evening looks like we've got a few trying to pop up over here i know these fish are still here i do think we got to get this uh tide to come down just a little bit more we're still on a falling tide this water was way out here yesterday evening it's falling fast should be the same conditions as yesterday hopefully we can have the same results but with a little more time there's a thousand different ways you can work this lure i like to switch it up just kind of see what these fish are honing in on you just don't ever know it could change day to day you can see that that slick just kind of swirls back and forth side to side without even twitching it or anything it just kind of glides through the water and when you twitch it it's just got some some good movement to it just displaces a lot of water sets off some vibration this water is actually a lot cleaner than it was yesterday too i could probably go with a different color we'll see we're just getting started kind of scanning around as i'm making my fan cast trying to see where the majority of the bait is uh is at because that's generally where you want to be at because that's where the trout's going to be so it's probably my last cast right here i'll walk down probably another 40 50 feet or so and just kind of repeat that until i get on some bites was not expecting that changed up how I was working it I was working it like a top water when that trout hit it that was probably my tenth cast right there y'all just switching up my uh, retrieve definitely a legal trout if you don't come off I think you might pop this one on the stringer boom there we go probably sitting at 16 16 inches on that pearl white og slick 10th cast trout still here good to see well that was my last cast before i said i was going to move down so we might make a few more casts since we did just land a trout and uh really cover this area a little more and i was working it just like this like you would kind of walking the dog on a top water and that was the first cast that I did that when that trout bit. Could have just been I threw it in his face or maybe they want it work like this. Honestly, you just never know until you get consistent bites with the action of however you're working that, that lure. So I think what I'm gonna do is half the evening I'm gonna be throwing this slick. And then as that sun comes down, get a little more of an overcast, I will swap over to the top water. Oh my gosh, stay pinned, stay pinned. Freaking slammed it, y'all. Oh. That's a good fish. That's a dang good fish. Got these people sitting here watching me. I hope they don't come right here in front. Please don't spit the hook. That's a dang good fish. I've been needing this, y'all. That is a good trout. Oh, yeah. Oh, you gotta love that. Oh, that's a good trout. That's a 24, 25. 25 inch fish right there. Oh, my goodness. Doing acrobatics here for us as I'm sinking in the mud. She ain't coming off. She choked it. Oh. Come on, come on.
come on. No, 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 no. lost her. Look at that fish right there. That is a stud. That's got to be a 26 inch fish. Let's get a measurement on a rod here. I don't want to get her out of the water too long. I'm not going to be keeping. All right. Right there at that TC4 on my rod just about maybe about an inch short. That way I can get a good measurement when we get back to the house. I don't like keeping these big fish. Nothing wrong with it if you do. I just prefer not to. Oh, she's gone. <sighs> Let's go. Just saying something about needing a trout like that. And that made my day. <laughs> I really wish I could have got a better picture of her. But, you know. She's off to fight another day and hopefully some can make someone else's day. Well, I just realized my head cam was not on during that fight. So hopefully y'all were able to see a little bit on this camera right here. That was, I'd say a 25, 26 inch trout. We will find out when we get back to the house, but there's gotta be another one out there. Let's see if we can get her. <sighs> that felt so good, it really did. She just absolutely clobbered that slick too. Honestly, don't even remember how I was working it. <laughs> I would really like to throw a top water right now, but I really don't want to switch up what's working. It's kind of hard to want to switch when this lure just caught a 25, 26 inch trout. Oh, that was another thump. Come on, come on. I think she's swimming with it. Yep. She was on there swimming with it. A little bit smaller one. Definitely not the size of that last one we just caught. But it's okay. It's okay. Good fish. <laughs> Another keeper trout. We'll throw her on the stringer. Or not. She's off. It's okay. <laughs> Man, I'm loving this. So as far as the setup that I'm using this afternoon, this is a Shimano Vanford 3000 size reel. It's got super smooth drag, uh, super smooth reeling. I've got that paired up with a Shimano Terramar medium power rod, 15 pound braid to 20 pound 40 liter with an eighth ounce on, four alt, owner beast hook with that big slick lure. And that's what's getting the job done so far this evening. You know, other than these no seams, couldn't really ask for a better evening. I do have my thermosel on my side, and I feel like it's helping keep them gnats off me just a little bit. They still are getting on me. There it is. Mm. Mm. Swam to me. Oh, that's another another good fish. I actually thought I was hung up on the bottom for a minute. these gnats are killing me but I can't leave these fish like this oh yeah good weight good head shakes I think that's what it is they're just a little further out there let me see you oh yeah <laughs> another good fish Let me grab you. Let me grab you. Come here. Uh, don't get me wet. <clears throat> God. I don't know if y'all can tell. Red that they got on their belly. They're rubbing against the bottom or they're spawning or something. This probably is a pregnant female. But I'll tell y'all what. That's what it's all about right there. Fighting through these gnats. Bye-bye.
All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Had a good time out here. Fish for about an hour, hour and a half or so. Caught some good fish, some quality speckled trout, and uh, just had a good time out here doing it. Pretty much all the trout, or well, actually all the trout were on this big slick lure here. Y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all would have thrown here if y'all do speckled trout fish. What is your favorite artificial lure, particularly when you're wade fishing, but like I said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all would like to see any more wade fishing style videos, y'all be sure to let me know. Till next time, y'all stay safe. See you back out on the next one.